Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt. Today, my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make butter chicken, also called murg makni. Chicken is marinated in yogurt and spices, grilled, and then served with a delicious tomato and cream-based sauce. This recipe was requested by Rowena Altea. Thanks so much for your request, and we hope you like this video. We're going to start by marinating the chicken. Take a non-reactive bowl like glass or stainless steel. Add in one and a half cups of Greek yogurt, three tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, one tablespoon of garam masala, one tablespoon of cumin powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, and two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, three tablespoons of lime juice, and five tablespoons of vegetable oil. Mix this all together till everything is well combined. Take three to four pounds of skinless bone-in chicken pieces. As usual, we prefer thighs. And cut about three deep gashes on each side of the chicken. Do this for all the chicken pieces. Then, place the chicken pieces in the marinade mixture and massage the marinade all over the chicken as well as into the gashes. Do this for all the chicken pieces and make sure all the pieces are well coated in marinade. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap. Let the chicken marinate in the fridge for a minimum of six hours to overnight to let all the flavors infuse into the chicken. The following day, Cover a baking pan with foil to prevent burnt pieces from sticking to the pan. And place a wire rack on top of this foil covered pan. Brush the metal rack with one tablespoon of vegetable oil to make cleanup easier. And arrange the chicken pieces on the wire rack. And let them come to room temperature. About one to two hours at room temperature. Letting your chicken pieces come to room temperature will allow them to cook more evenly. When you're ready to cook the chicken, take your oven rack and put it in the middle position and preheat your oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. Letting the oven preheat for that long ensures that it's super hot when the chicken goes in. Exactly! Searing hot, like the sun! <laughs> take your pastry brush and baste the top of the chicken pieces with about one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Bake the chicken in the preheated oven at 475 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Then take the chicken out of the oven, turn the chicken pieces over, again brush the top of the chicken pieces with an additional 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. Put the chicken back in the oven and bake for another 15 to 20 minutes. Or until the thickest part of the chicken thighs reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Set the cooked chicken aside to rest at room temperature. The final step is to make the butter chicken gravy. Take eight medium-sized plum tomatoes and roughly chop them into cubes. Then puree them in a blender till you get a smooth mixture. Then take a medium saucepan, turn on to medium heat, and add in the pureed tomatoes. Rinse your blender with one cup of water and add this to the saucepan as well. Add in one cinnamon stick, 12 pods of green cardamom, 12 cloves, two teaspoons of salt, and half a teaspoon of red chili powder. Stir these in and let this mixture come to a simmer. When it starts simmering, continue cooking uncovered for about 20 minutes for the flavors from the spices to infuse into the liquid and for the liquid to boil down a bit. Then add in one bulb of minced garlic, two tablespoons of fresh minced ginger, and one green chili minced. Stir these in and continue cooking uncovered for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, take a heatproof bowl and a sieve and strain this tomato spice mixture into the bowl to remove the large spices and fibrous tomato pieces. Press the mixture to maximize the amount of liquid and flavor extracted. You can discard the spices and chunky pieces. 
Keep the spiced tomato mixture. Then take a large pot, today we're using our Dutch oven, heat it over medium-high heat, and add in 8 tablespoons of unsalted butter, which is one stick, and let the butter melt. When the butter has melted, add in 2 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste and saute for 1 minute. Add in the strained spiced tomato mixture, 1 and a half cups of ready-made tomato puree, which is about half of a 29 ounce can, 2 teaspoons of dried fenugreek leaves, also called kasuri methi, 1 teaspoon of garam masala, and 2 tablespoons of honey. Mix all of this together till it's well combined. Let the mixture come to a simmer and let it cook uncovered for 10 minutes to thicken. Add in 1 fourth cup of minced cilantro leaves, stir them in, and add in the chicken pieces and mix them in until the chicken is well coated in gravy. Turn down the heat to medium low and let it continue simmering for an additional 5 minutes for the chicken to heat through. Add in 2 third cup of heavy cream and mix it in. Cook for an additional 2 minutes to heat through. Then turn off the heat. I like to add in an additional 3 tablespoons of heavy cream that I don't mix in. I'm adding the heavy cream 1 tablespoon at a time and not mixing it in. Just a little to create a few light swirls or marbling effect as a garnish before serving. Garnish with additional cilantro leaves as desired. Serve with basmati rice or whatever bread you like. Yum! Yum! Mmm. Yum. Mm. So good. It's the perfect blend of spices infused into the chicken. And I love the tanginess from the tomatoes combined with the smoothness of the cream. Mm-hmm. Thank you all for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this butter chicken. Send us pictures of your dishes on Facebook and Instagram. The links are below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. And for our written recipes, be sure to check out cookingwithkurt.com. Maraming salamat!